Hey you right guys, Trish Much is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of One Tree Hill Season 9. We're rapidly getting through this season to be fair, I think I've done 4 episodes this week or something, so I should be done within the next couple of weeks if I keep up with this pace. I mean, obviously for you guys it'll be one a week anyway, so that doesn't really matter, but uh, last episode was good. We got Dan defending his family, even though I feel like that's going to have uh, after effects and consequences, because that guy didn't look like he was going to take anything Dan said on board. Uh, Nathan's come back as well, but he was, you know, left at the pay. Teddy's been left at the pavement. What's going to happen there? We got Julian uh, just being a crappy dad. I, I don't think he's a crappy dad. I think he's um, messed up hugely. But uh, I feel like we, you know, he had the episode, and then Brooke's kind of ready to maybe not forgive him yet, but kind of, you know, not just push him out kind of thing which i think she's granted uh, an episode or two for that but um yeah we'll see what happens good season so far so episode five if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe of course by the time this episode is on youtube patreon would have finished tree hill and they'll be on to the next show whatever that might be uh because again i can't decide if i can't remember if charmed is replacing this or this is us so i'll be one of those but uh there'll be another show replacing whatever the other one might be uh so yeah anyway guys let's do this lydia murder moose it's calm to make sure everything's okay. Moody moose. Call me when you get this, okay? Hi. Oh, well, shenanigans we're gonna go up to really this time. Sorry to leave you like 20 messages, babe, but I'm I'm starting to get worried, and uh, hopefully you took a later flight. That's not what happened. What well, this re this is retaliation to Dan. Actually, would you mind watching the kids today? I have to be away from the house for a while today. I'm sorry. Okay. Why? You sure everything's okay? What do you have planned, Dan? You're not exactly the most busiest of men at the moment, but... Something's up with Haley. I gotta run to the cafe to cover for her. I think she's just trying to avoid that Tree Hill Cafe bitch. I don't think that's it. <laughs> Julian, are you okay? Well, Brooke's back to The normal. police station called. They're not gonna press charges against me. Oh. That's good, isn't it? I trust you, okay? You just... You just really screwed up. No, I'm with Brock on this. He messed up, but it's not like he's an evil guy. He didn't do it on purpose, so... You know, it's fun to dunk on Julian at times. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did actually see a brute again, didn't he? Naughty, naughty. Okay. <clears throat> Don't need to be seeing that ever again. <sighs> Who's that? Uh, Chuck's going to tell Chris, and indirectly, he's going to see her across the room be like... He was, she was in Chase's bed. Something like that. Maybe not those exact words, but... How did you get in here? Took Alex's key. She didn't want it. What are you doing here? Just came by to tell you I can't go to the movies. Because my dad's coming home today. Right. Wow, well, we're getting Chuck's dad storyline in the final ten eps of the show. Not even. Final... What are we on? Eight left? I can't remember how many are left on this season. His dad? But I'm his dad. He genuinely forgot that he's not his dad for a minute. Clay, you have what's called a dissociative fugue disorder. A, a fugue disorder? Oh, In short, you temporarily become someone else. Isn't that split personality disorder? That's a change. To, there's other words for it, I don't know. Except I wake up on merry-go-rounds. Yeah, without all the shooting and chasing. Well, a little shooting and chasing. Shooting drugs up his arms. See, here's the thing, Doc. Whatever it is, I repressed it. If I repressed it, I don't want to know what it is. So, I think I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. I'm afraid you can't leave. Yeah, it's not how it works. You checked yourself in, so now we're responsible for you for at least the next 24 hours. He's such a quitter, isn't he? I don't know where this side of cheat, um, Clay came from. I'm really hoping it has, like, an actual purpose of a storyline. It's been five apps now, and it just feels like they're kind of grasping for his character a bit. <laughs> Yeah, imagine. He, <laughs> he doesn't point me and he crashes because Tree Hill, the babies fly out the windshield. That's some of the show would do. Well, I mean, maybe he lost his cell phone. He knows my number. I don't know. I just think I should call I mean, the police. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, sorry. actually, yeah. I was going to say, I don't know anyone's number off by heart apart from mine. But yeah, this is where the panic starts to say, and I've been there before, worrying where someone is. Oh. Is he in a basement? Yeah, it's these drug dealers, isn't it? Hey, you know. <gasps> what the hell's going on? <laughs> oh my god, has he been kidnapped, hasn't he? That iPhone broke really easily, by the way. That's 
impressive. Will you come meet my dad tonight? <laughs> sure. I bet Chuck's dad's a huge disappointment. It's gonna be the best night ever. My two favorite people in the same place. Awesome. <laughs> Don't you have three favorite people? Oh, right. My mom's gonna be there too. <laughs> Is he playing? Hey. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's okay. He's not gonna let it slip yet. Okay. Why is Chuck suddenly forgetting that chase exists, though? Would you prefer to talk about the painkillers then? I guess I bought some. You guess? Yeah, I don't remember. So I guess. Okay, what's the last thing you do remember? I remember you telling me that this was gonna help. Roger, you've been here for t like two hours. Oh, I thought it was gonna help. <laughs> you think there's a switch? Because boom, cured. It's just not. <laughs> Coffee is the new latte. <laughs> the pain in Brooks' face. Do you have any pistachio muffins? Oh, hell yeah. I can have one we of those. do. Right next door. Oh, she's coming here to poach. And as you know, Brooke Davis, opening and maintaining a successful business can be very stressful. <laughs> what is that? It's a face to face friend request. I hope you'll accept. Friend request, oh my god. Great. <laughs> Seriously? I wish there was a face-to-face -face block feature. That would oh. actually be pretty nice. I don't know if I'd use that on anyone. Who's in my life would I use that on? I don't know. <laughs> be fun though. Tara didn't leave me. Chase, you need to face the fact that your girlfriend's with Chris Keller now. I can't well, believe her. Chris Keller <laughs> is Chris Keller. Chris Keller is Chris Keller, yeah. Somehow actually manages to sleep with people. Unless... Are you dating Chris Keller's girlfriend? I guess it's more like Chris's confidence, somehow. I'd have known it was Chris Keller's girlfriend, right? Well, not at first. Chuck Skolnick has never been more disappointed in you. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's nodding his head. No. Whoa, Chris Keller's insulted by your lack of enthusiasm. Listen to me. <laughs> Nathan never came home last night. I've been on the phone all morning. The airport won't give me any information. Nobody will help okay, me. Okay, I'll help you. I know some people at the airport. I slept with a stewardess once. Yeah, of course you did. Right, that's how we know people there. Let me help. Where are you going? I'm going to the police. Okay, good. I slept with a cop once too. See yep. Let's go. The sad thing is I actually believe he did. I don't think he's like lying about these things. No, yeah, everything's fine. I just wanted to spend some more time with the kids. Oh, great. That's great. I'll let you get back to them then. He's at the police station turning himself in. No, that wallpaper doesn't look very police station-esque, actually. He's doing something, though, isn't he? What now? He's probably just making sure to check in, doing a check-in thing. Make sure the baby's actually okay or something. Over-worrying. You can just say it if you want. I'm not following. I think I'm a horrible dad. <laughs> I have seen horrible dads, and you are not one of them. But you are a lucky dad. You should be counting your blessings. Yeah, there is that. You should get this filled. Immediately. That's one day of rest and relaxation for you. Oh, hell yeah. Morphine? Maybe later. Fine. My dad's been kidnapped. I'm not feeling so great. man. Clay. Oh. You know it, Quinn. It's not his fault when he wanders. Yeah, but it is his fault that he doesn't want to get help for it, and then he is and is having a mod about it, so... My silver dollar on you till Clay gets better. Thanks. Is it for good luck? More your luck than his. It's silver. Just trust me on this one. Jamie, Clay is not a werewolf. But there's supposed to be a full moon tonight. <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. Now that is final season material. Fat mouth and werewolves. Then you aerate the milk until you get the consistency you want. I'm sorry, what language are you speaking? Literally, I don't understand how these machines work. I'm an OAP when it comes to all that stuff. But I'm the mother of twins and sometimes they put on their own morning show. I did catch a clip on YouTube recently. What is this YouTube you speak of? I think it was more like fat, 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 fat. It's a bold move, really. It was a mean move, and I wish I could take it back. But it wasn't great. <laughs> at least he's eating healthier now. <laughs> oh yeah, I love a salad. That's what I said. She's such a little cockroach. Exactly. Hard to get rid of. Oh, 
Please tell me that that did not just really happen. Okay. And that's not oh, really happening wow. either. Oh, wow. I wonder who's done this then. <gasps> They're coming out of the plant. Good move. I'd burn the place down. I really don't see what your wedding has to do with me. So why don't you slap a smile on your face and get back to work. Before I have to find a new server. Gosh, she's a mob, isn't she? Hey. <clears throat> need to talk to you. Great, I'll come by later. I like to talk after sex. <laughs> what a concept. Not gonna be any more of that. I'm setting a bad example for Chuck, and he really looks up to me, so... The bad example you're hooking up with... You don't care about Chris, but yeah, it's not great still, I guess, but... You can have your cockroach-infested plant back. What? This is a thanks I get for giving you a gift? It was perfectly fine when I dropped it off. Oh my god. The roaches must have come from Karen's cafe. Okay. <laughs> okay must She's good. She might be too good. I used to be a bit of a bitch just for the sake of being one, but now I am a bitch for the sake of my friends and family. You do not oh, yeah. want to test that. Look up, bitch, and you'll see Brooke. What? Just try me. Millie, what do you add? See you, Brooke. Dead! Don't go against Brooke. You will lose. Everyone's team Brooke. Apart from Lucas, apparently, he's team Peyton, which is... I mean, do what you want to do. Clay, you wouldn't have come here if you didn't want to get better. What are you afraid of? Why is there a kid here? Uh, there that's isn't Logan. one here. He lost his that's parents. in your yeah. head. Oh. Stays with us sometimes. We try to help him. How long has he been coming? Most of his life. So, like, two years. He's like two. After I lost Sarah. But I did. I climbed out of it. One day at a time. I worked. I built a company. I fell in love again. You must miss her. There is nothing there, Doc. The only thing that is different between the place I was in and the fugue states is that I remember everything about that time. And I'm not going back to that. Right. You are contradicting yourself here a bit. To be fair, at least they're uh, touching on some of the stuff that has happened. And it's not just like he's in this random state randomly just to have a storyline. <laughs> How long has he been missing? Well, he was supposed to come home last night at 9 o'clock and he well, we did. We can't file a report until 24 I hours hate, past. I hate this rule so much. This rule is so stupid. I don't actually get how that is still a thing. See, training day, you know Denzel was the bad guy in that Chris, movie. Chris, don't. You're going to make it worse. I don't like your tone. Oh. I don't like lazy cops. Okay. I'm sorry. Look, Peacock, we have rules for a reason. Men leave their wives every day. So you're the jackass in high school who now gets to harass people and carry a gun. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes sense. Can you give us a moment? I know this woman. She wouldn't be here if there wasn't a problem. Nathan Scott's a good guy. <laughs> He's like, couldn't have Haley here in this. Come on, man. Even if he wasn't, would you leave her? Something's wrong here. Brilliant. Fantastic point. That's actually all he needed to say. This is Scott. I'll do what I can do, okay? Fair enough, Chris. I'll do a lot more for you after 24 hours. So he's going to do something, right? Is that what that was? And he got to wait 24 hours. Oh, it's such a shit rule. I get in a way it's like because they can't like spread 50 cops like around all these cases if someone coming and getting worried and usually people show up within 24 hours. I cut, but I don't know. We know. I used to build model plans with my dad. Do you still make them? Uh, no. Not since my dad passed away. Is that why you're staying here? Well, I'm actually not staying. I'm leaving tonight. No, you're not. I can't believe you never tried to fly. Do you tell him? Oh my god, is Jason born? Cannibal! Did you say cannibal? Yeah. It's Cannonball, like... He said, no, no, Cannibal. I, Cannibal Holocaust is my favourite film. James is a psychopath. How's that boyfriend of yours? You know, you didn't need to try to drown Clay. Well, he did. He worked last time. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, He's getting help. Sounds like it worked again. Yeah, it somehow it takes Dan to get through to people. I'll be fine when I know Clay's fine. So you still believe in him? Yeah. Then you'll both be okay. Yes, Dan, the wise sage. What if Dan got Nathan kidnapped so Dan can stay here and he takes over the house? There's zero way. <laughs> that would just not happen. It would in like season three or something, but... Look, for whatever reason, he thinks you're a good guy. Crazy day or not, don't be a jerk to him. This life's been tough. Hell yeah, Chase. I heard that when a bartender gives you a tip, you don't have to tip the bartender. Sorry. 
Thanks, bud. Do people tip bartenders? I'll <laughs> suit, so, sure, yeah. Like, I get waiters and waitresses. Bartender, I'll bar, though. Where'd you go? I took him to the hospital. What happened? You what? Are they okay? Yeah, I shouldn't the start with that. The doctor thinks I need to take the day off. It was a genuine mistake. It was my mistake, too. I knew you were overwhelmed and preoccupied Wait, with the stage. Him. You were in a hurry. You were sleep deprived. Uh, I should have seen that. Well. Why don't you go see a movie? You need it. Yo, that is already cheered up from the thought of it. There you go. Have a nice flight. <laughs> the way she was waiting for the camera to pan to her. There you go. I really need to know if my husband Nathan Scott was on flight 2326 last night. We can't okay? hear that. Oh, all right. Okay. I thought it should be asked. Jesus. Well, I can tell you the flight did arrive in Tree Hill on time last night, but I'm not allowed to disclose any personal information okay. about passengers. I'm sorry. I'm his wife. It's okay. No, I'm sorry. It's protocol. Anything else I can help you with? Another stupid rule. Cool. So many barriers around everywhere constantly. Can you imagine how you'd feel if your husband was missing and no one would help you find him? I don't have a husband. I'm a lesbian. Okay. Okay, no, that works. You hear this from me. Thank you so much. Uh, wow, that's all it took. Okay, it looks like Nathan Scott was on flight 2326 last night. I hope that helps. Ford, I'm actually a stalker. I'm not his wife. She's going to see the teddy bear, isn't she? I'm pretty sure that would have picked up by now. <laughs> I didn't show Nathan, so he got a f Yo, James Lafty got quite a few apps off. <laughs> Been in one up this season. Keller said he was sorry. He got held up. Oh, wow. He didn't actually show up. I can meet your dad if you want. Of course. That's a given. Oh. But you didn't ask me. Didn't think I had to. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Is he, is he here yet? No, not yet. Must be running late. Sometimes he's late. <sighs> he's not going to show up. Then we have time to shoot some hoops. Okay, I was a bit confused why he seemed to be like forgetting Chase for a reason. What's the snow? From Dan. Someone put this on my car. Well, you're a bad dad. What? Why did it take a stranger to tell me the truth that I deserve to be punished? Julian. Right. <laughs> he probably just put that note on there himself. For your burgers, well, like, heat, I guess. I'll fry your burgers, not your babies. All right. I thought he said for your burgers. What? You know, honestly, I'm thinking about leaving. I'm just not sure that Dr. Alvarez <laughs> is the right doctor for me. Oh, my God. Why? What happened? Because he hasn't cured me yet. Yeah, I guess most people stop wondering once they've come to terms with whatever triggered it. I mean, if you have a diagnosis and, and a possible cure, why would you want to leave? Because he's claiming he's being stubborn. What could possibly be bad enough to make my brain shut down? Being shot? Your wife died? <laughs> probably a few other things we don't know. No. There's probably something else, though. It can't be one of those two. You ready? No. Huh? Huh? <sighs> At least God. you know you're not a werewolf. Too bad. Vampire, though. H O R S. Horse. I win. Uh, um. horse has an E in it, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe we should do something really cool tomorrow. You can decide. Anything you want. Really? Anything? You name it. You adopt me. Is there something me. you've always wanted? Dad! Oh. Hey, you actually showed up. Wow. Oh, look at you. Look at you. What are you doing? I'm actually shocked. Brooks dad and Chuck's dad. All right, I got it from here. Thanks. Let's go inside. Look at you, how big you've got. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Dan really have to leave when Dad gets home. Yeah, honey, I'm afraid he does. Oh, she's gonna think it's Dan. I don't think so. I really don't think so. I can see why her mind would jump to that, but that would really annoy me if it was. He was involved somehow. Oh, he's gonna cease. Oh, oh and he has money where he could have stayed somewhere. So he's lied about that.
Can I help you with something? <laughs> I thought you said you lost everything in the fire. You did say that, Dan. You did say that. You had money to say somewhere. But I, but you could you could see why he lied about that, though. He had a chance to maybe stay with his family. I'm I'm still rooting for Dan, okay? So I just got a side of the rain, so I look like a mess. I'm Claire. Logan. Like Wolverine. He's my favorite superhero of all time. Wolverine, I will back. He's pretty cool. Maybe tomorrow we can fly that thing? You're not afraid anymore? I'm not no, afraid I'm anymore. Afraid. I'm working on it. Is this the work that made you bail on Chuck? Ah. Well, sorry, man. I had to take care of Chris Keller tonight. <laughs> Besides, he's hanging with his dad. He doesn't need a babysitter. You musicians are all the same. You know that? You just bulldoze through town making empty promises and you don't care who you hurt along the way. Oh, yeah. Dude, hey, lighten up, man. Why don't you call uh, not Alex? I already talked to her. She's coming over tonight. <laughs> Ah, smooth. Smooth with it, I guess. In the morning, Dad'll be home. Um... We should call your mom and say goodnight first. Maybe. We might be waiting for... I'm gonna go with six... up seven when he gets home. Thanks for letting me say it in Quince tonight. We had so much fun that... Yeah. I'm gonna fall right to sleep. Love you! Very good, very good. I know. I'm worried about you. You should be worried about Nathan. Fake yawn was a bit much. You think? I think Haley might have other things. It's daylight out. Liars. There's no use, Jeannie. The fights were lucky to scum. Ooh. And I have one guess about who he'd want to bite first. Okay, at least you didn't say I wolf you. Like another show. Okay. Uh, I love Trial so much. I'm gonna miss this godforsaken show. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's game time now, Brook. I think. Good catch, though. I didn't even pick up on that. Oh, Julian wants to get into a fight. Wait, you got a problem? Yeah, there we go. He's punishing himself. Oh! <laughs> what a brawl. Go on, Brook. Could you give her a message for me? Sure. Don't slap her. Oh. I thought she was gonna. Oh, this is. We've caught up with this. Public freak out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we've caught up with this as well. Is that all you got? Yeah, this will do your children great. Like just you being obliterated in the streets. That really helps them out. That's what you do. Was it not an accident? Did you start the fire yourself? Oh my god. You did. You started the fire. I trusted you. I let you into my home. I defended you and you lied to me. Yeah, you got some explaining to do, I think, a little bit. Haley, will you let me explain? What else are you lying about, Dan? Where is Nathan? What did you do to him? What? I Nathan's missing? Don't play games with me. You knew the second he got home that you were going to have to leave, so you made sure that he never got home. Haley, Where is you... my husband? Haley, will you Where calm down? Please, let me explain, please. Just let me explain, okay? Here we go. Let's hear it out. Nathan gave me the baseball and the picture, and I sensed a thaw. <laughs> At least an opportunity for one. I had to act. What? I tried to get close to <laughs> Jamie and Lydia while Nathan was still vulnerable. But I didn't know anything about Nathan missing until just now. I promise. He's still a little bit sly. He's like a little bit of Dan, but not full Dan mode. But now Dan's on the case, he's gonna find him. Licked his split. I'm out of my mind right now. Of course you didn't do anything to your son. I'm just so worried about him. Well, he did something to his brother, so I mean, his son's not too far down the line. Come on, there's a perfectly good explanation for it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He, I mean, he probably... He probably missed his flight. <laughs> what pen floor? Right. Or Dan's gonna give her the realistic. I'm so silly. I need I need to calm down and get some sleep. Oh, Dan's gonna get shit done. He just opens up a cabinet full of guns. Like machine guns, shotguns and snipers. What's she doing? Or maybe Haley will. She didn't believe him. I need your help. There's a murderer in my house. No. Well, technically, yes. But... 
Oh, and he's just behind another door. Oh, this... This season's slapping so far. They're just doing so much, which... I kind of love that they're doing that with the final season. So uh, we've had all our romances, we've had all that stuff. We've got the characters we're going to end up together for the most part. So we don't need that. We've just got to have some chaotic um, storylines going on. We've definitely delivered on that so far. So yeah, another really good episode so far this season. I don't think we've... Would I give this an 8? I think I might. I think this... The only thing that's stopping me giving it an 8 at the moment is... Clay's storyline, I'm just curious what it's more like I'm curious where the outcome is gonna be. But I feel like everything else was up there though. Hmm. It's either very, very close. It's like what did I give the last step? A seven point seven, so it's better than the last one. Yeah, we'll go an eight out of ten for this one. I, I feel like we're I like that we kind of caught up to see the stuff that happened in that one, but fairly quickly. Like I didn't wait till like up ten or something to kind of catch us up on that, like Julian being beat up in the street and Brooke throwing all the stuff around the calf. Uh, and now we are actually worried about Nathan as well. Like, he, he, Haley knows something's gone on, so uh, whatever that might be. I'm assuming it's the guys that Dan confronted and they've kidnapped him in retaliation. I don't really know how they would have made that. Oh, no, it would have been very easy to make that link, actually, if you knew that Dan was the, um, what was he, like the mayor of Trio for a time. You just connect that to Nathan with his son. So I guess it won't be too hard to do that. It's just the fact that they would have known to pick him up at the airport to kidnap him. So maybe it's something more... Uh, like someone else Dan pissed off in the past or something. I guess we'll find out. Also, that woman, I don't know her name, that Chase and Chris are sleeping with is a knob. So the rivalry between her and Brooke, I think, is pretty justified and it'll be fun to see. But uh, yeah, really great episode. I'm going to go an 8 out of 10 for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know thought the episode down below in the comments. We have how many? Because I'm not actually sure I'm here in this season. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight episodes, I was right then, eight episodes of Tree Hill left. <gasps> no. Two months for you guys, which is not which is a good amount of time, actually. I feel like two months is a good amount of Tree Hill left. But that will go by very quickly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, until next time, guys, take care. Peace.